I competed in races since I was a little, little kid and I just always want to win. That's what I want to do every time. Preparation of a race starts the day before. You know what to do and warm up, prepare yourself, get focused. I like a specific routine in, the, in, in my warm up. I like to do uh, to start on the roller and go outside, do some starts, go back on the roller, and so you get it dialed in a bit. Uh, in a one on one race, you try to know your opponent and you know what he's capable of normally and you know what kind of rider he is. And then you try to make a tactic in your head on how you can beat his plan. I like to make myself aggressive. That's a thing that gives me adrenaline and, and makes me, me sharp on moments when to go and when to react. I like to get aggressive on the start. It really depends on which opponent you have, if you start up front or behind. And you just have to see what the opponent wants. It's also important. If he wants on front, maybe you can disturb his plan to go up front. And if he wants to be in the back, maybe you can, you can push him up front. And that's something instinctive, what you see in a race and what you try to, to create your plan on. You change your plan while you're in the race, actually, also. At the front, I, I really like to, to keep the pace, pace slow. And if he wants to go up front, it's OK, because I can close a gap from behind. So that's, that's pretty nice. I, I can do both pretty good. The early parts of all sprint races are highly tactical as riders attempt to get into the head of their opponent. A track stand is the perfect weapon the lead rider can deploy to make the other rider take the lead. If you start up front on the race, you want to push your opponent in front of you and you can do that perfectly with a nice track stand. You, you hope your balance is better than his and you can hope he lose some balance and, and take the lead. A sprint race is just like animals hunting each other. They, they're chasing each other, watching each other. One wants to go away from the other and the other one wants to chase him again. If you're up front, don't let them make a gap. It's, it's an important thing, so their timing is disturbed. If they time good, it's really easy to pass you, so you need to disturb that. To trust your instinct is really important. If you don't trust your instinct and, and you have a bit doubt about your decision, then you're a little step behind already because you didn't make a decision actually, you didn't go for it. If we want to go faster, we just put more power in our legs and we build that up and if you want really fast, then, then you stand up and we say always like we smash on the pedals. When you think you have to go, you go, you, you know what to do. And if you think this is the right time, now, now I can surprise him with, with an attack. We put all power on the pedals. Keep the bars good in your hands and uh, just go and just give it, give it all. And you have to work that you, you have a nice gap so you can time on him and go full gas and, and pass him eventually in the last turn. And, that's exactly how you want it and cross him first on the line. My feeling after a race is so exciting and it just worked out what you had planned and what you, what you wanted and it's a really nice feeling, you get really happy about it. The best part of a sprint race is to stand up, go full gas and see that you're closing in on him and catch him on the line. That's the best feeling you can get in the sprint.